The largest trade conference on U.S. soil since the Bretton Woods Conference at the end of World War II. Why are we doing this? For economic growth? Or are we trying to deliberately destroy the ozone layer worse than what it is? But when it comes to trade, trade and cultural exchange does not hinder, but actually enhances and advances free minds and free hearts. But when it comes to trade, Let's go. We must either engage in commerce with emerging giants like China, or we must forsake trade because we're concerned about democracy. The sidewalk where you're going to be, the street is ours. Thank you. Don't think it's fair that we're exploiting our values, making the kids work, you know, calling these people our partners. They're going to be slaving kids, women and children, working them for pennies on the dollar, and they're still not going to get anything. Why are we doing this? The genetic meat, I don't agree with it. I think they're playing God. So if we have to rip out the town, we rip out the town? If it came to that, yes. I really would. I have no problem with it. Because, hey, they're ripping it up anyway. Are you Basically, there are, the there are two locations uh, where people are gathering. Victor Steinbrook Park what? and the Seattle Central Community College. Where are we heading to? Uh, we're going to head down to WTO Center, the uh, Washington State Trade and Convention Center. Early morning, downtown Seattle, November 30th. The city has become the focal point of people who are pissed off with the whole globalization process. They want to shut down the World Trade Organization. They're peddling monoculture. They're just destroying the environment. They're tearing down the forest. They're destroying jobs. Behind us, just up here, we've got the Trade Conference Center. People are going to get up there. They're going to stop this thing going off. They're going to stop this carve up. And they're going to stop any new round of trade agreements going through. Here in Seattle, there is farmers from Asia, from South America, from Africa and Europe. And we are all together in Via Campesina. We are not going to stop it today. No, no it's going to stop it during the, in the next month, no in the next year. It's a very long fight, which is beginning. No it's, only a, it's not only a fight for one day or two days. It's a fight for many years. What sort of things have gone down in Tibet? Um, of six million people, 1.2 million have now lost their lives. That's one in every six people. One of the most devastating things for us as Tibetans is forced abortions and sterilizations. If China gets into the WTO, everybody who's lobbying so hard and pushing so hard for the world to uh, use economic leverage to stop the genocide in Tibet and, and the, the human rights violations and environmental devastation of China and Tibet, we all get undermined because China can contest any of our economic leverage as barriers to free trade. They can't be demonstrating on their streets, so we're doing it for them. You want to shut it down? Hell yeah! What? Why are you here? For everyone who gilds can't be here. Fucking Indian farmers! who can't get fucking seeds that don't die and you get fucking repossessed by Monsanto. Fucking here. I'll tell you why we're here. Up on the, I think it's 32nd, maybe the 37th floor of this building, Weyerhaeuser has a realty corporation. And they have 37 million acres of timber rights in the country. They own um, 5.7 million acres in the United States alone, 18 million acres in British Columbia. Now, you're wondering why they're so dependent on this global free logging agreement. It's because they've completely overcut their own land. And their whole PR deal is that they're the green timber company and sustainable and all this. And the truth is, they need the world's timber to feed the, the timber habit, the paper habit, the fiber habit, whatever you want to call it, the consumption habit. Shutting down WTO. Nobody goes in, nobody goes out. It is beautiful, but it's not stopping the delegates right at this section so if you want to move forward to where the farm farmers not factories and the social justice banners are in front of the uh, Roosevelt Hotel entrance 
They need your help to reinforce and keep this thing shut down. We cause it static. True Asiatics knowing that we bout it, getting rowdy niggas don't know. Get them sacky shows and then he boots. Rock the motherfucking multitudes like you, W-T-O. We maintain the flow, the fucking multitudes. We got attitudes with picket signs. Sometimes we spit rhymes behind the techno beat. Rising like some beast beyond my peak of invincibility. Devastation causing massive elevation. Contemplating. They keep us sad, but what the fuck? Bill Clinton's in the Roosevelt Hotel getting body getting his dick up. Fuck that shit, we ain't trying to press some noise. Everybody raise your hand and pick up this party because we about to get it on. Everybody knows that we ain't trying to get one life, one love, one spirit, one spirit. That's how we hear it. Come on, raise your hands if you're trying to get with it. The WTO can make decisions which cancel out U.S. laws. Uh, many citizens decided that it was worth it to put safety devices on fishing nets to protect dolphins. Now, anybody can put that stamp on their uh, tuna. They took it to the World Trade Organization and they said this is an impediment to trade. This isn't just the WTO, this is the whole alphabet soup of bureaucratic agencies, non-elected government officials that are feeding off the trough. And they're doing nothing but sapping our financial, spiritual soul. Look, look what's going on. They're asking us to pay for all these little toys they got here. And their, all their new Scooby-Doo uniforms and their little Scooby-Doo mobile over there. And it's just like, what is this? Oh, us, the public, are, are being forced to pay for their intimidatory uh, equipment? Tyrants throughout history use misinformation and intimidation to instill fear into the public. And this is no more.